All right, today we have a, a Lenovo Think Center. This is um, this is really a tough mini PC. Um, it's it's made out of metal, unlike the other uh, mini PCs that I've shown here before. So let's just put this aside. Just uh, comes with your standard uh, AC adapter brick. Let's see here. Let's try it without the. Okay, so it comes with a nice little stand, yeah. and wireless antenna, so let's go through two front USB 3 ports, headphone jack, microphone jack, power, and let's take a look at the back. Digital audio display port USB 3 display port USB 3 USB 3 USB 3 and one Ethernet and one VGA. Uh, most uh, mini PCs these days don't come with the VGA port, but this one I specifically looked to get the uh, VGA port because I really needed it to work from anywhere. So let's just take out this uh, antenna here. Put stuff aside. And uh, here we go. All right, so normally there's a screw that holds this together. I don't know if I got an open box or not, but uh, this uh, didn't have the screw, so it may have been open before. Um, so let's take a quick, uh, yeah, here we go. It just slides forward, so the the upper half of the, uh, the case just comes off. It's, uh, I three there. All right. So here's the inside. This came with um, a 500 gig drive. It's it's a black series, so it's meant for performance, but it is still a spinning disk, so it's not as fast. I'll eventually replace it out of this system, but uh, that's what it came with. Uh, there was only two options to get, either the i3 or the i5. And I just chose this configuration because it was available, not because it was my first choice. So, um, let's take a nice little speaker there. Um, you can see the wireless card right there. And the, the drive does come out, but uh, it requires removing one screw. So let's, uh, let's do that. So this corner one right here. And you have to be really careful because this will slide forward. There we go. And if you push it too far, you just, you'll unplug the uh, wireless cables there. So I'm just going to try and keep it all in place. And so you can see the uh, memory module underneath and the um, the real-time battery here. Now, I'm not going to remove the fan or any of the other things because it's just a little difficult with this form factor. Um, so this, this is probably um, going to require... Um, CPU paste to put on again, and I don't have any at the moment, so I'm not going to remove it at all. So, but you can get an idea of how everything looks here. Well, again, I wasn't too careful, so it did pop out. So, this is the wireless here. Let's get a better look out of everything. Let's see, that's the uh, Yeah, let's see if we can okay it's a little dark here so I'm just wondering if I could uh, lower the light there we go okay so like I said these are these little PCs from Lenovo are meant to be uh, tough this is metal here and uh, 
I saw a presentation on another YouTube video where the um, presenter drops this on the floor and he steps on it and he says it'll still work. They're designed for uh, under some military grade spec. But he did plug it in to show us that it would actually work. So I'm not going to drop this. I'm not going to stand on it. But it does feel tough. There's a weight to it. So if you're looking for a tough PC to place anywhere, this would be something to consider. Uh, the only thing is that there's moving parts in this. You got the uh, the hard drive that that has a lot of um, spinning going on and the fan, which it'll make some noise. I don't know how loud it is yet. I haven't plugged it in to actually see here how much noise it makes. But anything with fans, you, you'll hear a, a slight hum going on all the time. So that's, that's the Lenovo Tiny PC.